A video on tuner pedals probably couldn't get more entertaining than this, but please don't click away. There's something about this Peterson Strobo Stomp HD pedal that I want you to hear for yourself, and it's all about the James Taylor tuning. But before we get to that, let me just explain kind of what we have going on here. So my Stratocaster is being plugged straight into this Peterson tuner. The Peterson tuner is a strobe tuner. For me, that means that you're never really gonna be satisfied as you're tuning. It's plugged directly into this Boss TU3. The Boss TU3 is very satisfying. If you are in tune, it gives you these two little lights that click into place. As I said with the strobe tuners, rarely does it ever sit in place like that. So when I'm playing live anywhere, like at church or something like that, I'm usually taking this TU3 boss tuner with me. And then if I'm doing any sort of recording, I'm using the Peterson tuner. So I really wanted to do a deep dive onto each of the pedals that I've put on my pedal board, kind of go through all the features and some of the settings that I prefer to use. Now when it comes to the Peterson tuner, there are 130 different presets on this pedal. Not all of them are going to be visible to you coming out of the box. You can hit the menu button and access the presets and then switch on and off whichever presets you want to keep. On my Peterson tuner, I have the James Taylor tuning, which is referred to as SBJ. I have guitar tuning, GTR, that's a sweetened tuning from Peterson. I have an acoustic guitar tuner setting, a bass guitar setting, and then equal temperament. Now equal temperament is the first one we're gonna start with. This is what you commonly get with boss pedals, poly tuners, all that kind of stuff. And on the screen here, as you're gonna see, we're gonna make a recording and I'm gonna try to play as close as possible the same piece over and over again, but with three different tunings. Today we're gonna to look at equal temperament, which is what you're used to hearing. We're gonna hear the sweetened tuning that Peterson set up and then the James Taylor tuning. This one's really, really interesting. I want you to hear that as well. My name is Chris Green. If you're interested in this kind of content, my channel is all about practical tips and advice for guitar players. Also have some shorts where I attempt to be funny. So if that's interesting to you, please hit the subscribe button. And if you've already subscribed, please hit the like button. Now let's get started with equal temperament. I've got the Boss TU3 tuner plugged in coming out of the Peterson so that you can see how the two of them compare to each other. Now with equal temperament, we should be getting the same tuning with both. They should both say the guitar is in tune, but as we get into things like the James Taylor tuning, you're gonna notice that the boss tuner is actually telling you you're out of tune. Can't wait to go through that. Now as we're going through the different tunings, I am going to tune based on the open string I'm not trying to be scientific, and I know that there are going to be factors with me playing the different passages, but practically speaking, I think you're still going to be able to hear quite the difference between the three of these from the open string. Now, all of the tone knobs and the volume knob are just full on 10, and I'm on the neck pickup of the Strat. I'll try to stay consistent with all three. All right, so let's tune the guitar now to equal temperament. That was our equal temperament tuning. Now we're switching over to what Peterson refers to as their sweetened tuning.
All right, as far as comparing the Boss tuner to the Peterson, when we're on this sweetened tuning with the Peterson, there's not a whole lot to notice that's different. I would say the Boss tuner is wanting to lean a little bit flat, but it's still saying that we're in tune. So this has got to be the most minimal amount of difference in tuning. But let's find out by recording a passage here. All right, last but not least, I'll go ahead and tell you that this James Taylor tuning is my personal favorite, but you tell me what you think. To get to the James Taylor tuning, you do have to unlock this in the menu of the Peterson. It's just a combination of buttons, but it's referred to as SBJ. Now, I wouldn't recommend trying to get the James Taylor tuning on the Boss TU3, but just so you can see how the two compare. This is how it is in tune with the Peterson, and you'll notice it's quite out of tune on the Boss tuner. So on the Boss Tuner, James Taylor tuning is at least one red LED, sometimes even two LEDs off. But let's hear how it sounds compared to the others. I'm gonna try and record again. And what I'm wondering with the James Taylor, you notice that most of the strings that we tuned were a little bit flat. I wonder if he's compensating for how much we're squeezing the guitar neck. So the higher the strings or the thinner the strings are getting, the more flat they seem to be. I wonder if he's doing that because that's how much we squeeze the guitar and he's compensating for those types of things. To my ear, the James Taylor tuning sounds great. I would wonder especially if you're at church or if you're playing in a band in the context of the rest of your group, if they're also not going to be doing the James Taylor tuning, is that going to make things sound a little bit wonky? Okay. This is why people get into that discussion with should a be tuned to 440 or some other sort of Hertz. It's all too scientific. And what we really want to go after is the practicality of it. So if you have the Peterson tuner, I'd recommend you turn on this James Taylor tuning. It's still E-A-D-G-B-E. -E. There's nothing wildly crazy about it, but you might notice it sounding a little bit more pleasing as you're playing guitar. So now let's just go through in each three of these and I'll jump around between the three of them so you can hear how they compare. So what do you think? Me personally, if I can get away with the James Taylor stuff, I'm gonna be trying it from now on. 
But I hope that gives you a little bit of a glimpse of the Peterson Strobo Stomp HD. It's my tuner of choice if you've got the time to nitpick and deal with the strobe. But thanks for watching the video. Hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time.